Uh, just the time to make room while I'm in it Now nigga from the third coast written like me Your heart is numb, your mind is vacant Let's free your soul, exoneration I smoke drugs with the cold buzz Bad socks and a dope plug Cause it's real life is Hello everyone, this is Knight And I just wanted to do a walkthrough series against Uncharted 2 Because I've actually never played the Uncharted series And Uncharted 4 is coming up So I've been playing through all three of them Just get a feel and understand them uh, Nathan Drake's story so let's just go because I really want to see how this game goes because I heard it's really good I don't know if the second one's the best or the third one's the best but I know they all approved upon the very first one so let's get this going my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. in a hard place, of course. What the hell? Oh. Alright, let's get over here. Climb. Yep. Alright. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 Nathan. Climb back up, climb back up. Alright. Oh, he can still climb, okay. This one. God, come on, stop. Everything think he's trying to crush me down. Keep going up. God, he must be hurting all that blood on him. There, okay. Come on, come on. This is a god day. Alright. I got this. Whoa. Oh, thank god I made that that time. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, Nathan. Come on, come on. This is such a weird freaking game. <clears throat> I think I'm. It's weird. I think I play more two. Are you freaking? I play more. Uh, I played more Tomb Raider than I have this. This game is like. This is actually like. I've played the first one, but this is my first time playing the second one. So this is. I haven't watched nobody play it before or anything. So it's kind of funny. No, no, get up, get up. Yeah, 
like this is my first time I've ever played. Oh. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in, then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right, back to reality, Nathan. Got a little backstory there. I wonder if him and Lord Cloth had like babies. What would what, they would be like just like them? Oh wait, I saw something. I saw you blink. First trigger. All right, let's get in here. Hopefully, I can help Nathan get back to normal. Oh, 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 no, no, no! Don't you call that? Push forward. Oh, it looks like he's better. 
You know, I probably, I kind of want to know where is that. Where is he bleeding? Did he get stabbed or something? Well, you're gonna. Uh, that's bad. All right, got a pistol. Got some more treasure. How I get out of here? Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, that was a spark of flame and blow it all up. <laughs> That's so sad. It's locked. It's always locked. <laughs> How many Laura had a baby? That baby would just go all over the world, be like, I want to be like mom and dad. He's alive. Oh God, who, who, what happened? Is a bitch. I don't even know who you are. Why are you even shooting at me, you regular grunt? God, Nathan, I can't believe you still have that much strength to even do that. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Nathan, I, my brother, I didn't want to put you through this. God, you'll never see black people doing nothing like this. I hope that's not racist either. Uh. Alright, make it through here. My bad. There goes all them gaming skills. All them gamings I have went straight out the window. Again. Goddamn. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Come on, Nathan, get out of your wet dream and get back up. We got some work to do. Can I hit that? Oh, I can't make it. Okay. I was really scared for a second there. I was like, man, he gonna die. I'm gonna screw up in the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Come on, 
on Nathan. We just gotta get through this year. This is my first time really playing you in the second one. I don't know nothing about your story really because I barely. Oh shit! <laughs> God, how does somebody go through that? Like, video game characters go through so much hell. Sure, you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <clears throat> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't know your ways. Alright, I guess I'll stop it there, guys. Uh, this has been Nights and Night Gaming. Uh, it's just for me starting. I don't care. I just want to have fun with this series because I haven't played this game at all and I really want to play it. So I will see you all for the next part. Bye.